Hey mathematics learners, welcome to Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. On today's video tutorial, guys, we are going through question 1.3 from the grade 12 mathematics June 2022 paper one that is written in the Gauteng province. Like I mentioned in the previous video tutorial, guys, if you're not from the Gauteng province, do not click off the video and be like, this is not relevant to me, okay? It is relevant to everybody, guys, because everybody is doing... Ha! You're load shedding. Mm. All right, guys, so it's load shedding, but I'm still going to continue with the video tutorial, right? So with the nature of roots, guys, okay, please make sure that you watch this video tutorial where I explain to you guys... Um, what it means right when b squared minus 4ac is less than zero right what it means when your b squared minus 4ac is greater than zero and what it means when your b squared minus 4ac is equal to zero but i'll also just brush on that in this video tutorial guys so please make sure that you watch the whole video tutorial do not skip the video tutorial guys because it's going to be helpful for you guys especially when you're dealing with questions in your final exam that deals with the nature of roots right it'll help you understand what um what you're supposed to do right so before you get started with the video tutorial guys please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel right please make sure that you also click on that notification bell so that you get notified every single time i upload a new video tutorial guys and also make sure that you give this video tutorial a huge thumbs up because that will really help the channel grow and it will help the channel reach more learners that want to better their mathematics marks all right so without any further ado guys let's get started with today's video tutorial Question 1.3. Given that 9x squared minus 12px is equal to negative 4p squared, for which values of p will the equation have equal roots? Okay. So this question is testing, right, your knowledge. Okay, when it comes to the nature of roots, okay, we know that when we use the quadratic formula x, which is equal to minus b plus minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, right, the discriminant, right, tells us, okay, about the nature of the roots of our quadratic function. So what is the discriminant? The discriminant is that expression there that I've just highlighted or circled in red, right? So that value, right, that you would obtain by substituting the value of your b, your a, and your c. So when your b squared minus your 4ac, right, is, is less than zero, right, this tells you that your quadratic function is going to have non-real roots okay okay so you'll get a value where you basically substitute into your quadratic formula you'll get a negative number under your square root right and when you get that negative number that will basically tell you okay that you are dealing with a quadratic function that has roots right or x intercepts that are non-real okay when your b squared minus your 4ac is greater than zero right this tells you that the roots of your quadratic function or your x-intercept of your quadratic function right are going to be two real numbers okay so the values of your x-intercepts will either be like a natural number a whole number an integer an irrational number or a rational number right so it's going to be two real numbers right and then lastly if your b squared minus your 4ac is equal to zero right this tells you that your quadratic function will only have one real root okay or a repeated root okay so what do i mean when i say a repeated root for example right i'm just going to give you a quick 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 example where i explained the last point here right where you've got one real root or a repeated root right if you're given the quadratic formula x squared minus 8x plus 16, which is equal to zero, right? If you basically had to um, determine your discriminant, right? Okay, b squared minus 
AC for this particular quadratic function, right? What is our B? Our B is equal to negative 8. And what is our C? Is 60, right? Okay, so if you were to substitute these values into this equation, so your B squared is minus 8, okay? Or squared minus 4. What is your A? Your A is 1, right there. And what is our C is positive 16, right? Okay, if you were to punch this into your calculator, okay, you'll find that, okay, this the discriminant for this particular um, quadratic function is equal to zero, right? So what does this mean? So now if you were to now substitute these values, right, your A, your B, your C into the quadratic formula, right, you would find that your X is equal to You'll find that your x is equal to 4 or your x is equal to 4, right? So what does this mean? We can see that we actually have, right, when your discriminant is equal to 0, this basically shows us, right, when your discriminant is equal to 0, this basically shows us that the root of your quadratic function will be a repeated root, right? So that's exactly what I mean when I say that it's going to be a repeated um, root, okay? or one real root because x is going to be equal to four whether you substitute the positive or the negative into your quadratic formula right so now let's just we're done with the recap let's just quickly go um to what the question is asking from us for which values of p will the equation have equal roots right so this equation will have equal roots when what happens this equation will have equal roots if your discriminant is actually equal to zero right so what we need to do is we need to take this equation okay so we're going to take this equation right and we are going to put it in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c which is equal to zero right and then we are going to basically make our discriminant b squared minus 4ac and equate it to zero okay so we're going to find out discriminant for this particular um, quadratic function and we are going to equate it to zero because we know that when our discriminant is equal to zero, then our quadratic um, equation or our quadratic function will have one real root or repeated root. Okay. Okay. So we want to put it in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. So it's going to be 9x squared minus 12px plus 4p squared, which is equal to 0, right? And then here, what is our b? What is our a? What is our c? We know that our a is our coefficient of our x squared. That is our a. Our b is our coefficient of our x. That is our b. And our c is our constant so that whole value there is our constant right we're going to substitute our a our b and our c into our discriminant formula right and we are going to equate that to zero and find the p values and solve for p right okay so that is exactly what we're going to do okay so our discriminant formula P all squared, right, is going to be a positive 144 P squared minus, right? Then I'm just going to say 9 multiplied by 4 P squared is going to be equal to 36, 36 P squared, right, which is equal to 0. We are going to simplify this further, 144 P squared minus 4 multiplied by, okay, so minus 4. So 9, multipl 9 multiplied by 4p squared is equal to 36p squared, right? And then you're going to equate that to 0. We're going to simplify this expression further. It's 144p squared minus 4 multiplied by 36 is equal to 144p 144p squared. And then from here, guys, what do we see? 144 p squared minus 144 p squared is equal to zero, which is equal to zero, okay? So this is basically our answer, right? So 
Okay, so from solving this equation, right, we see that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. Zero is equal to zero, right? So this basically tells us that the values of P that will ensure that the equation will have equal roots, right, are values of P that are basically real numbers, right? So a value of P that are real numbers. The final answer for this question is that your P is an element of real numbers. Okay, and guys, that is our final answer. That is it, guys, and I'll see you guys on my next upload, Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. Bye, guys. Thank you.